In 1933, at Bell Labs, engineer Carl Jansky was tasked with investigating static, disrupting transatlantic radio communications. His custom-built rotating antenna, nicknamed Jansky's merry-go-round, picked up a mysterious hiss, repeating every 23 hours and 56 minutes, matching the Earth's sidereal day. This anomaly, dismissed initially as equipment noise, would later be recognized as the Milky Way's radio whisper from Sagittarius A star, our galaxy's core. Jansky's meticulous notes revealed a cosmic truth. Stars emit more than light. For months, Jansky methodically ruled out terrestrial sources, thunderstorms, industrial noise, yet the signal persisted. By mapping its intensity, he traced its origin to the Milky Way's center, 26,000 light years away. His hand-drawn graphs showed peaks when Sagittarius aligned with his antenna. This correlation shattered assumptions. Space wasn't silent. Jansky's work, published in 1933, faced skepticism. Many astronomers dismissed radio waves as irrelevant to real science. Jansky's eureka moment came when he realized the signal's 1420 megahertz frequency matched interstellar hydrogen's natural emission, later pivotal for mapping galaxies. Though Bell Labs repurposed his antenna, his discovery ignited radio astronomy. Grote Reber, a lone amateur, built the first parabolic radio telescope in 1937, expanding Jansky's work. Their combined efforts proved the universe speaks in wavelengths invisible to the eye. Jansky's antenna became a relic, but his discovery birthed tools like the Arecibo Observatory and the VLBI network, revealing pulsars, quasars, and the cosmic microwave background. Radio astronomy now probes black holes and searches for extraterrestrial intelligence. That faint 1933 static, a murmur from Sagittarius A star, ushered in an era where the universe communicates not just through light, but through whispers across the radio spectrum.